Hey everyone, Kirill Plashakov here. I just decided to create, you know, a whole playlist for quick tips because it will be a more optimized way to deliver these useful tips separately for people who search exactly them. So today we're gonna take a look how to do a production quality lens and distortion in After Effects using its standard optics compensation effect. Now that we have our no rain clean plate, it's far easier to see the distortion and undistort the footage. About half of the year later, I figured out how to do this with the standard optics compensation effect and decided to add this recording inside this first class. So the first thing to do is uh, to determine some straight lines on which you will look to understand if you've completed the distortion. And here's the trick. These lines are not straight. These lines are built by Alexei who used his hands and his head to put his props and decorations together for his movie and the only straight line here is this sign which was made from the straight metal cylinder so this sign should be bended like that so you can uh, hit the reverse lens distortion checkbox here and try to increase your undistortion which will cause your edges to go out of the frame now so when you think that your lines became straight you should take a solid color with which you will see things better so maybe something neutral will work well and you can put its anchor point to its edge i'll turn on the snapping for this and try to match it with this sign here to see if it is straight so you can move the solid the way you see if it's parallel to the sign and assign some color correction for the footage to make it more contrasty and rotate the solid um, another thing we can do is to use the grid effect on the solid move it till we will match the two lines of it like that and just watch closely if it is straight so maybe it needs a little bit less of the on distortion there it already goes farther from the camera that's why it stops to match there with solid here it is mostly straight yeah so this is the way to go with standard tools of after effects it is always better to understore any footage before compositing this way you are removing the lens artifacts that you can reapply back on your comp and make it more completed you should do the undistortion after the denoising because the noise is the artifact of the camera sensor which is behind the lens so set your resize size to max 2 to expand the edges of your layer beyond the format you can use this option now let's copy our optics compensation effect, go to our main comp, paste it here, uncheck the reverse lens distortion checkbox and see how much pixels are missing. So the optimal amount of format expansion I found is 38 pixels. My lock aspect ratio is off because I don't want to change the height, we don't need to change the height under the letterbox. And this will expand the denoised pre-comp till it will fit your stretched pixels here. So now I will show you one of the ways you will apply the distortion back on the very top of your final composition. After you will regrain it with undistorted grain, you can cut this optics compensation from here. We need to apply it to every layer we will have in this comp. We can pre-comp this main composition and apply it on the top of it and do the same expansion for the comp containing all the layers, which we can call the different way. And hit OK and render everything from this composition. That's how you will reapply the distortion on the layers of fire, matte painting, etc. Everything you will do here. But one thing to keep in mind while you're working like that is that every pre-comp that will have the source denoise layer inside of it should be with expanded format. 
After some big amount of mistakes, you will always be fine. If you continue thinking for yourself what is right in every aspect of life, then in the most cases the After Effects will do this for you if you will pre-comp the expanded denoised sourced pre-comp. So if you will follow the this distortion and redistortion pipeline, think how you will reapply the grain cause the denoising you did before the distortion. Practicing such dumb and easy way of undistortion in After Effects made me think that this shot should also be undistorted the same way. And we have some straight lines here from this metal diner on which we can put our solid with grit. Take the optics compensation filter, put it here, take a solid, take the grit effect for the solid, match it with the lines of this diner just approximately for now select the optics compensation filter set the reverse lens distortion checkbox and distort the footage till this line will look straight to you like that maybe that's too much try looking through the grid and see if the lines are straight let's increase the gain and go to the lines that are closer to the edge of the shot now let's try looking on this lines that are the window frames all well, the look pretty straight yeah i think that's it another approximation of lens distortion that will help us to comp our shot the other layers sh should not be distorted because we will warp them strongly anyway to match this truck and as I said, it is optional because we are doing 2D tracking here, not the 3D tracking. So unless you have some problematic distortions from fish eye lens, then distortion is critical only for camera solve. To properly solve the camera movement or the 3D object movement, which is viewed through 3D camera. So easy process, so I decided just to add it here. I think you will need this way of out of the box thinking in the future thank you so much for watching check out other my videos on my channel i do a lot of visual effects master classes in which any level visual effects artist will find something useful for him started doing videos every freaking week because i really want to give away all my experience i'm tired with all of it stuck in my head i'll see you on friday as i will publish the great in-depth comparison of After Effects and Nuke. Mm. At least this is what I want to call it, but it won't be clickbaiting enough for you to subscribe. Have a nice day. Goodbye.